I'm gonna record this, okay? Hey guys, Tarkum Cyclone FPV, and I have a customer that purchased the mango board, one of the boards, the F3 boards we had on sale. And yes, I'm talking quick because I want to get this done. It is weekend and I want to go out and have some fun with family. But he wanted to make sure that it was connected to Betaflight with no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up real quick. Let me show you what I'm working on. Here it is right here. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and I love the setup. And I, I made mention of the fact that I really, really do like the setup. Uh, let me just get some scissors here so I can, or something. I think my scissors are good. Oh, I was going to get some advice. Oh, no, you good. Just like all the time, so I interrupt your videos with my... There's my wife. My tape. <laughs> getting ready to go buy the baby shoes. She's just telling me to hurry up so she can go to the store. All right, so let me take out the contents here. What we're going to focus on right now is this board, right? Uh, actually, i got to cut this open. So here's your flight controller right here. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into beta flight real quickly. This is actually going to the customer, so I'll uh, definitely send him a link so you can watch this. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in just like that. There we go. And then let's go ahead and get on the screen here. And we will go to beta flight and we will click connect. Okay. I'm just going to kind of place this here. And what we're going to do is the first thing we want to do is we're just going to go down to version. So let's go, I mean, go down to the CLI and type version. Okay. And it's running the Omnibus, just a standard Omnibus. All right. Now I think I may have the oldest Omnibus because I don't think that they offer, I think that stopped a while ago. Let me just see what they have here. Omnibus. Omnibus is finished. Okay, so I believe that I downloaded Omnibus. Um, let me see. Software downloads, the hex files. I want to say that's okay. All the noise, the better. Uh, Omnibus. I could have sworn I did. But, uh, I guess not. No, I'm pretty sure I did. Hold on. This is it here. Uh, you know my desktop and see. I don't know. I know I had it at some point. Sam, are you throwing a concert? Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> well, I know I had it. I'm going to see if I can find it here. Maybe. Omnibus, here it is. So I have the Omnibus 3.5, 7, and 4.5. Hey, Ashley. Are you going to video? I am. What's up? Okay, we're really good. Where are you going? Just to go get ready and have a little bit long. Okay. All right, dude. All right, I love bye. you. Are you coming back here or are you staying there? Hey, man. What's the plan? No, are you, you coming back here? Yeah, it depends on if she's going to the lake or not. Okay, but I mean, you're dropping her off for lunch. Are you coming back or are you staying there? Okay, you just figured out the place. Okay. All right, I'll be safe. Bye, Maya. Okay, so um, let's do, uh, we're going to do 3.5.7, I guess. Let's try that one. And hopefully this will load with no problem. So we're going to say load local. Now there's the 4.0, but I, I like the 3.5.7 setup. So for right now, if I can get that to work, then that's what I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully it will load. We're going to see. Okay, so it says it's loaded here. Now we're going to flash it. Okay. All right, now. This is the one thing. So when you sit and it gets stuck into bootloader mode like this, just go ahead and close down your beta flight. If you're running the new version, this, this will happen sometimes. Sam, how much more of that you got? Go back to update firmware. And then we're gonna go back to our loading local again. No, no, you're good, you're good, babe. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, please. I'm kidding. Okay, now we're gonna flash again. I don't think this should be having a problem. Let me figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Let me try again. It is in DFU mode. So now let's load local. I want this one. There it goes. So follow that. And I will post that firmware so that you have the newest version. All right, now it's gonna flash it to 3.547. Now, if you wanna to go to 4.0.0, that's fine. Uh, just know that on the page for this uh, board, I will give you, and as a matter of fact, I'll put the link probably in the description as well so you can get it. But I will put that um, Betaflight uh, Omnibus link on there. So now let me click connect and let's go down here to CLI. 
let me type version. And now you can see that we have 3.5.7, which is the one that I like the most. So I'm gonna leave that on there for this gentleman right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, uh, well, let's just go to configuration here. And what you can see is just to make sure everything's working good, we can connect. All right, and we can see everything's working fine. So we have our ports set up. We've got everything here good, good to go. Uh, we don't need a barometer. Um, and uh, I would probably say we can just drop this down to four and two or even two and one, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then as far as our other stuff goes, we just save and reboot. Okay, and we got our CPU load down to like 12%, so it's perfect. So there you go, guys. That's the solution on how to do this. Again, I will put the link for that one, but this gentleman who's getting it, yours is already flashed. You're good to go. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up. If you have any questions, let me know. Please, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and uh, support us that way. And uh, as always, God bless. Be safe and have fun. Go spend time with your family, guys. That's what we're about to do. We're heading to the lake, right, babe? Yes. All right, so that's the last video we're doing of the day. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Peace. Bye.